Padres players being hailed as heroes as they escorted many frightened fans into their dugout during a shooting in Washington, D.C. Good evening, I'm Vanessa Van Hefty. We have team coverage of last night's incident and how it could affect the Padres today. ABC 10 News reporter Rena Nakano live at Petco Park for us after speaking with a fan who took cover in the Padres dugout. Rena. As if you need another reason to love the Padres, you know, here's another story. I spoke to a fan. She says she is eternally thankful to the Padres and their staff for making her feel safe at one of the scariest moments of her life. Ground and trying to score from third is Tatis. The throw, not in time. It was a game like any other until the bottom of the sixth. Eight to four. We heard four pops. Flight attendant Elena Rodriguez is from Pennsylvania. The baseball lover travels a lot for MLB games, but her trip to Washington DC Saturday was cut short after shots were fired right behind her section. And everybody's just down and we hear somebody else shoot her, shoot her. We're like, where? Amid the chaos, Rodriguez looked up and saw some of the Padres players running into her section, looking for their families in the stands. Then she saw shortstop Fernando Tatis Jr. motioning fans to head to the Padres dugout. That's when we saw, like I said, Will Myers was with his family and that's when Tatis opened the gate. When he said go, it was just like, all right, if he's saying go and he can see up, things must be okay and we need to go. Rodriguez says fans helped each other get over the knee length wall and run for cover. We were all scared because we didn't know where the shooter was. We didn't know, was he coming down the steps? Was he about to jump on the field? Where he, she, it was, no one knew. No one knew at the time that three people were shot just outside the gate. One woman attending the game sustained non-life-threatening injuries, and two of the suspects later walked into a local hospital with gunshot wounds. We ask that you remain inside the stadium at this time. Padres manager Jace Tingler overcome with emotion after seeing his team step up and be heroes on and off the field. Most people see him as baseball players, and when you get to see him as caring human beings, doing the right thing. Loving husbands and sons and fathers. I just, I'm honored to be a part of it. I'm a baseball fan really in general, but I was a Tatis, I was a Machado fan. Now I am a Padres fan as well, because I have to say that they saved my life and a lot of other fans lives last night. The birth of a brand new Padre fan right there. Well, Rodriguez tells me that she and about 75 other fans felt like they were huddled up in that dugout for what seemed like forever. But in actuality, she says it was probably about three to five minutes before the Nationals announcers said on the loudspeaker that the situation was newly under control. Reporting live out here at Petco Park, I'm Rena Nakano, ABC 10 News. Yeah, Rena, this is just touching everyone's heart.